I've lived in Florida for six or seven years. I'm a freelance writer, and I wrote a blog about unsolved serial killer cases. And when I got here, I was, I was just kind of blown away by how kind of seedy it is. The victims in the case, they were initially described as prostitutes. As I continued to research it a little bit, really only, only one had ever been arrested for, for prostitution in Florida. The, the first victim, Laquita Gunther, they were really women that, that had substance abuse problems and were trying to kick those problems and get away from it. They were women just trying to get by in a fairly rough town that offered them few opportunities to get by. For me, the story of the killings were about not necessarily the mystery of it, but the women who were killed in the city of Daytona itself. These women who are, who are not unlike so many other people that I knew and had even come to be friends with in Florida who were here oftentimes trying to, to escape something else. Daytona, you know, can swallow people up like that because this is a good place to be anonymous. The most interesting part about Daytona is that people come, come from all over to come here because they think that it's the place to be and, and, and oftentimes they find out that it's not. I found that the story to be told was, was really the story of the city. I drove down here just to kind of explore the neighborhoods where these women disappeared. And what I found was I, I, could, tell, I could tell their story by telling the story of the city. There are thousands of missing persons in our country. You don't have law enforcement agencies working together. There is nobody trying to connect the dots. I am aware of other serial killers that I do know personally. Are any of these guys still out there? Yes, ma'am.